Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, interesting stuff, as a fight has been made in the lightweight division, uh, it is Richard Comey's next fight. It's been reported by a number of news outlets, but the one I have in front of me is BoxingScene.com, so a big shout out to the fine folks at BoxingScene.com that Richard Comey will be making uh, a defense, his first title defense, of the IBF lightweight title against the hard-hitting rugged contender and former world champion Ray Beltran um, and that'll be June the 28th and they're saying it'll be at the uh, Pichanga Resort Casino in Temecula, California so it'll be um, you know that, that'll that be um, one fight and then the other fight will be uh, the co-main event will be Pat, um, what's his name um, Carlos Adames you know the 154 pound Dominican uh, prospect and he'll be fighting uh, Patrick Day now Patrick Day I'm actually looking at Patrick Day's resume right now as we speak. Patrick Day was 17 and 2 with six KOs. Who has he fought? Patrick Day has fought not anybody too recognizable on his resume. I know he, I know he fought okay Eric Walker. I know who he is because I'm friends with him on Facebook. But uh, Patrick Day, not, not you know decent a decent fighter. Um, if I'm not mistaken, oh Patrick Day, I know this guy. I thought he was. I, I thought Patrick Day was gonna be like a white Irish guy, but no. He's. He, I, I've seen. I've seen this guy's interviews on uh, Brooklyn Fighters Channel. See, so yeah, that's that, that be a decent fight. Patrick Day's a solid box. I know who he is. But uh, going pivoting back to the main event, which is Comey versus Ray Beltran. You know, it's a, it's an interesting matchup. It's it's a, it's a good test for Comey as as a champion. Um, you know, Ray Beltran has been around the block. He's he's been world champion. He's been there with some of the best fighters in the world. Um, this will be Beltran's second fight removed from losing the world title to Jose Pedraza so you know he you would figure he'd be hungry now I, I'll be honest with you I don't think we're gonna get the best Ray Beltran for a multitude of reasons number one um, a couple reasons number one he got his green card and I know that that might sound funny to you guys but when he was when he when he had that run where he was trying to get his green card because uh, for those of you who don't know Ray Beltran um, literally had to win a world title to get a green card to stay in America with his family, because um, that's one of the ways you can um, you can get a green card in America is if, is if you show achievement in something like there was some clause where you could get a green card if, if you reach a certain level in your industry or whatnot. So uh, he won a world title, he got his green card. So I, I don't think he's as motivated as he was when he got his green card. That's number one. Number two, um, his last fight he fought Hiroki Okada. Back in February, and he fought at 140 pounds. Now he has to come back down to 135, and I just don't see him. You know, I don't see a weight cut at 37 years old being bringing out the best in a guy like Ray Beltran. So there's that. I don't think it'll be the sharpest version of himself. And on top of that, he's 37 years old. So you add in the fact that he okay, he, he, he's not. He doesn't have as much to fight for as he used to. Got his green card. Then he has to make a weight cut to come back down and weight. And then three, um, and then the third thing is, um, what's his name? Uh, he, he's 37 years old. He's, 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 up, he's getting up there in age. So, you know, uh, not, really, not really too uh, stoked about this fight, but, you know, boxing is funny. Crazy things have happened. And, you know, it, if, he, if, he comes to, if, if he comes to fight like Ray Belcher normally does, then I think he can go in there and give Comey a, a couple of solid rounds. But if, if Comey is worth his salt, if he's worth anything as a world champion fighter, as a world-class fighter, uh, if, if, if he's one of those guys that I could say, man, this guy can get Lomachenko check out a good fight, then he's going to go in there and he's going to make a statement against a guy like uh, Ray Beltran. And that's no disrespect from Ray Beltran. It's just more of what I think of Comey. Comey, I think, is a good fighter. I think he's a, a definitely a, a, a above-average fighter. I wouldn't say he's a great fighter, but he's a, but definitely an above-average fighter. And if he's an above-average fighter, and you're coming into those prime years of your career, and now you're world champion, you have a, you have a belt to your name, I, I need to see you go in there and perform, performing and making a statement. So I'm looking forward to seeing how he performs in a fight like this. And then uh, pivoting over to the, the Comey event, you have uh, Carlos Adames versus Patrick Day. Now, let me start by saying this with um, Adames. Carlos Adamas, I saw his last fight. He fought Frank Galarza on the undercard of, what was it, uh, Amir Khan versus Terrence Crawford. And he had an absolutely brilliant performance against Frank Galarza. You know, Galarza is like one of those, he's not an elite fighter by any stretch of the imagination, but he's one of those, like, third tier, or maybe fourth tier, you know, tough fringe contender guys that you got to beat moving up. And, and, you know, this is a guy in Galarza who's fought the likes of um, Jarrett Hurd, and, 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 and Adamas looked 
very just 10 times more sensational than Jared Hurd did. And when we look at Carlos Adamas, when I look at Carlos Adamas, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb. Because I've seen him fight a couple times, like I've seen him fight about two or three times. Very good fighter, very well polished. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know much about his amateur background, but I can just see that he's a very well polished fighter. Um, he's got T he's got TNT in both hands. He's exciting to watch. He's got good footwork, good understanding for positioning in the ring. Um, he is the most talented Dominican fighter I have ever seen in boxing. I'll be honest with you. Um, I think he's more talented um, than Felix Diaz. I think he's more talented than Javier Fortuna. He is the most talented fighter um, that the Dominican Republic has ever produced. And, you know, at least in the modern era that I've seen. And, you guys can correct me um, and name, name some other Dominican fighters that maybe I'm overlooking, but you know, of recent memory, Carlos Adama is just, as far as the, the eye test, blow, blows me out the water. So I'm looking forward to seeing him fight a guy in Patrick Day, who, um, you know, if you guys don't know much about Patrick Day, he was someone that in the, um, in the New York area was a solid amateur. Um, he's got good boxing skills. He can move around the ring pretty good. Um, he, he's not a, a, a big puncher, so it's one of those fights for Adamez, you know, where this is going to be on TV, and you would be, you'd be thinking that top rank wants him to look good. So they put him, in there, put him in there with a guy who's a skilled boxer, but a guy who, uh, an opponent in Patrick Day, who doesn't really um, give you much to worry about in terms of the punching department or, and punching power department. So Adamez should be able to take his shots and, and, and pick his shots and, and land what he has to land. And, and it, and it should be a, a, good, a good night of work for him, but we can't overlook Patrick Day. But I'm just saying, from what, from what I've seen from Carlos Adamas, everything I've seen from Carlos Adamas, he's been sensational every time out, and I'm just going to go on a limb. He is the most talented Dominican fighter I've ever seen in boxing. And, you know, yo soy Dominicano, yo soy Dominicano, so I got to support my main man, uh, Carlos Adamas. But um, just joking, you know, you, you don't support fighters because where they're from, but I, I am Dominican. For those of you who don't know, I am a quarter Dominican. So, um, you know, big shout out to Carlos Adamas. But yeah, that's the news, man. Those are just my initial thoughts on this June 28th top ranked card that was announced, uh, I think it was yesterday. Richard Comey making his first defense of the IBF title versus Ray Beltran. Uh, if he wins this fight, Comey, that is, um, you know, I'm looking at his next fight probably being Tiafimo Lopez. And we know Lopez has an eliminator fight coming up, I believe, in June as well. So, um, you know, it, it, things are heating up in that division. And I, I think, you know, Comey does what he's got to do. Tifi has got to do what he's, what he's got to do. They fight each other in the latter part of this year, and the winner of that will be fighting uh, Lomachenko probably sometime in uh, during Super Bowl weekend, as as Bob Arum has uh, has stated before. So, you know, uh, this you don't want to overlook this fight. Important things will happen. You know, uh, important developments will come of this, and these are pretty solid matchups. You know, uh, Comey versus a former world champion and a tough contender, and Ray Beltran. You know, uh, uh, Carlos Adames continuing to to move up the 154 pound ranking has. You know, just an absolutely sensational talent against a, a good, solid opponent in uh, Patrick Day from the New York area. So uh, don't don't overlook don't, don't don't overlook this card. Be on the lookout for it. And now, uh, yeah, leave your comments down below about Richard Comey, uh, Carlos Adamez. You know, these fights. Uh, how, what, what does it mean for the future of the lightweight division? Um, all that stuff. Leave it in the comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And like I said, every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a gift from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.